Welcome to Friday News Dump, presented by Hounder. Let's get into our main story. The Colonial Pipeline was hacked in a ransomware attack last Thursday, shutting down operations and causing a gas shortage in many states across the East Coast. Americans reacted the only way we know how, by fighting in broad daylight and hoarding plastic bags full of gasoline. Didn't we learn anything from last year's toilet paper shortage? Apparently not. The Oakland A's might be on the move. The MLB has allowed the team to start looking into relocation if they can't reach an agreement with city officials for a new stadium. If the A's do move out of Oakland, the MLB will finally get their wish of getting rid of the Oakland Coliseum. The biggest losers are the fans. If the A's decide to relocate, this will be Oakland's third team to move out. It would be sad to see the A's let down the 5,000 fans that pack the Coliseum every night. Shake Shack locations in New York City will be giving out free fries with a meal if you show your vaccine card. While this may be a good thing for the pandemic, it certainly doesn't help the obesity epidemic. But if you want Americans to do something, there's no better incentive than fried potatoes. Now all we need is for Chick-fil-A to get on board, and Americans will be vaccinated in no time. The 2021 NFL schedule came out. The time of year where every fan base believes they're going 16-0. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, 17-0. The NFL is dubbing this season as the biggest season ever with one extra game added. So as grown men get excited for games that won't be played for another four months, at least they have a chance right now. Even Bengals fans think they have a chance to win more than four games this season. <laughs> to close it out, here's our viral clip of the week. A video of a peewee football drill came under fire this week as a young child took a devastating blow to the head. Professional football players, as well as former pros, chimed in, calling the coaches stupid, and demanded they face consequences for setting up what appears to be a clear size mismatch for this drill. A Twitter user claimed he did the same drill as a kid, and that the critics don't know what they're talking about. I am no expert, but I'd have to assume that's just the CTE talking. That's it for this week. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Andrew Schwartz, signing off.